Hello my guitar exploring friends, this is Prokopis from String Systems and I'm here to help you practice effectively, improve every day and enjoy the process. And what's more enjoyable than learning how music works and how you can express yourself through the guitar instead of just memorizing what someone else did. Before I get into today's lesson, I will quickly share a personal experience that will help you appreciate the lesson more. I started learning classical guitar back in 1987 when I was 10. I really liked it, but I felt like something was missing. That's because I was memorizing all the time without really understanding what I was doing. And I was sure that this was somehow going to change if I switched to electric. So summer of 1993, I get a job carrying crates at a grape packing factory. After about 250 hours of work and a sore back, I go to the only music store in town and I buy this Yamaha Pacifica 512. Now I still keep it looking good and I have upgraded almost everything about it, but this is the one. Now, what I did not think through was that there were no electric guitar teachers to be found, no internet, nothing. My only source was a British guitar magazine that was delivered once a month. But guess what? What I found in it was again mostly memorization and no real understanding of how the guitar works. Like most people, I started soloing by memorizing scale pattern boxes. And I'm grateful for that, it's better than nothing. But with the danger of poking a sacred cow, I must say that they are not an effective learning system. And I suspect that most of you have been frustrated many times trying to learn this way. You stay stuck in a box, you have trouble moving to another one, you don't know how to make music with these notes, and so on. But when I went to Berkeley in 1997, I realized that people who play other instruments actually know what they are doing. They are aware of the actual notes they play. Now, this is almost impossible on the guitar because visually it's more complex than most instruments. The guitar fretboard is like having six different piano keyboards side by side and the black keys are at different places on each one. That's why we do need a visual system. But instead of just memorizing boxes, we need a system that helps us understand the fretboard and facilitates playing creatively. So let's say you want to learn a minor scale. Here's G Aeolian or the G minor scale on the guitar fretboard. How do you make sense of this without memorizing boxes? Well, check this out. It will blow your mind. You're about to have a light bulb moment. All this mess is actually made of just five small string fragments that are super easy to learn. Here's the first one. We will call this SF1. The second one looks the same. Here's the third one, just two notes. Here is SF4. Here is SF5. SFS, or the String Fragment System, is basically learning how to stack, connect, and manipulate these simple string fragments and use them to produce all scale positions without needing to memorize them. You can do the same for all scale types and all modes. In fact, my most popular premium course is SFS Pentatonics, where we do the same for pentatonics and blue scales. I will now show you a concept that's based on my SFS modes method, where we learn the major scale 
and all its modes using this system. For obvious reasons, this is going to be a simplified version, but you will be surprised at the fretboard freedom you will gain in just a few minutes. Let's learn the G minor scale everywhere on the guitar fretboard. This is also called the G Aeolian mode and you can use it over minor blues, chord progressions, many rock, metal, pop songs that are in a minor key. Aeolian, also called the natural minor scale, is everywhere. We will only use three of the five string fragments for simplicity, SF1, SF2 and SF3. This gives you an octave to play with. Let's put the root note on the G on string 6 fret 3. So what I will do next is to place this same system on every other G with some adjustments. Isn't this great? Just three string fragments and we're already jumping freely to all these fretboard areas. There's more to this concept, so if you're watching this video inside the free mini course, you can try the special Just Play Practice track under this video, which will guide you through this. It's very easy to follow and you will feel like a better musician after you do it a few times. Sign up for the free mini course if you don't have it. And if you are more curious about this method, use the links to learn about my premium SFS courses. They are step-by-step -step methods that help you master the fretboard using the string fragment system. But they also include improvisation tips and help you develop creativity and your own personal soloing style at the same time. Until the next lesson, this is Prokopis from String Systems, reminding you to enjoy your practice and be effective.